Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are finishing up our staircase over here and we're starting to install our Regal Ideas railing system. We have all of the posts installed. We're getting all the side rails ready to go. We're putting a wild hog hog wire mesh as the infill. So follow along. If you see anything you like today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, let's go check this out. Cutting these, they call them hog tracks. They're really uh, dedicated to this hog theme here. So we got the hog rail over there. I cut out all our regal rail. So we got the bottom uh, rail there. And then we can't put the top rail in until we put our hog rail in first. So what these guys are gonna do is they're gonna sit on the side of our posts and then the hog rail, uh, hog wire, is going to go right into there so that way you don't see any end cuts. So I'm cutting a bunch of these guys out with holes because I got to drill these in. And then I'm leaving some without holes because those are going to be exposed on our corners. And we don't want holes on our corners. So putting these in, cutting out 28 of these and eight of the other ones. So a lot of aluminum, aluminum cutting today. So I have the Earplugs in, can't hear anything, but I'm probably talking louder, so that's always nice, you know. You get gain something. There's a right here. Uh huh. There's a lip, so I don't know if we can pull, pry this out some more from underneath, maybe or something. Okay. Because we got to keep it out, because even on the far end over there, mm -hmm. it um it's barely gonna cover right now. So how much? How much shim do we need? Um, that's pretty good. I am making a trim piece for the other side of the staircase because yesterday I was having a hard time processing how I was gonna build it. And we kind of got it figured out now and I like the way it's looking. So now I have these two parts. I have some 2P10 super glue. It's made for PVCs. Uh, it glues, it stands for two parts, 10 seconds. That's what 2P10 stands for. Two parts, which I have right here, one, two. And when I glue this together and then hold this PVC joint in 10 seconds, it will be bonded. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. It's made by a company called Fast Cap. Not sponsored, not sponsored yet they don't work with influencers is what they told me and i'm just going to try to put a nice even light coat but enough to where it's going to bond these two pieces of pvc together there's also azet glue and i think we have some of that up in the trailer but um this stuff's pretty quick all right so there you go you can see the sheen on that you got to be quick and you got to be accurate when you put this seam together because it does not take long for it to bond. I usually give it the benefit of the doubt and uh, go more than 10 seconds though. Maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And you can see I got a, there's a little bit of squeeze out on this side. This is gonna be the outside of the stair. And it's still, I can still, if I wiggle this, I can still see the glue moving around. So I'm just gonna sit here for a few more seconds and hang on to it just to really make sure it's bonded. Two P10. Oh, you gotta be careful when you do these because you got a little bit of slop, but you could drop it all the way to there if you wanted to and you'd still be okay. Okay. So you don't have to be super tight. If you make them super tight, I'm, I'm concerned about getting these in. All right, so we have all of our Regal Ideas rail posts installed. We have all our top and bottom rails cut. The bottom rails are installed in the base. They're not screwed in yet. They're just sitting in there. And now Nazi is going to take a U-channel that goes, that's made for the wild hog, hog wire, and we're gonna mount those to the sides of all the posts. 
So that's what he's up to. We just figured out our fascia detail for the bottom of our staircase. That took a minute, but it's looking really good now. So now we can finish installing all of our deck boards on our staircase and then finish up our trim and then get the kickers in and that'll be pretty much complete. And then I can start figuring out the rail posts for the stairs as well. But we might jump on to cutting up some of these uh, hog wire panels instead and trying to get some of those fit today. So I uh, can hopefully give you the overall look of how the rail's gonna be. <laughs> So these are our wild hog hog wire panel sections. Each one we have to cut down to the proper height to fit the Regal Ideas rail system, and then we have to cut them all to the width. Once we do that, we'll put on these little protective pieces. Uh, they call them hog tusks. They're just little caps that go on the ends of all the cut ends so that there's no rust. And one thing about when you're doing an aluminum rail system with steel, you don't want the steel touching the aluminum and you don't want it to rub and you don't want vibration sound to happen. And when you're walking on a deck, you can get deflection. And you can get sounds like that, but when it's metal to metal, it's even worse. So we use a lot of these to make sure we don't get a lot of that. It's pretty strong. All right, so right now we have finished installing most of our U-channels, and these are going on the sides of the posts, like right here, uh, for the hog wire to rest in, okay? But we had a little complication where we have these special uh, 22 and a half or 45 degree posts. They're sitting at a 22 and a half degree angle from each side. So we couldn't just take these and mount them to the sides of the of the post because it would shoot the hog wire a different way. We they, they really needed to be on this angle here. So what we're doing is we're going to once the top caps are in, like so, then we can these will be installed on these angled sections so that the hog wire has a place to be inside of this track and be trimmed out and look really nice. So most of the posts are the hog wired is right up against it but on these corner posts where the angles are there's going to be a gap right here and then the hog wire is going to sit inside of this track and then this track will get screwed to the top rail and to the bottom rail and it'll still be really nice and solid Whew, it's getting cold out all right guys thanks for watching hey check this out Ooh, you can't see you can't see the Oh, there we go. It lights up green. Great. Pretty cool. whoop de doo All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for commenting and subscribing to our channel. I really appreciate that as well. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Also, comment below and like our videos because we like it when you like it. All right, thanks for watching, have a great day.